Hi, I'm Kelly with Blue Water Photo, and today I'm going to show you quickly how you can modify your Olympus pen housing for the use of the 8mm fisheye domes, either from Zen or Precision. A lot of people are buying this camera. It's a really great camera and housing either the EPL-3, the EPL-5, the EPM-1, and any future pen housing. At one point, they had lights on the port and they added this button to the housing. This button guard is what interferes with being able to use the fisheye dome which sits basically flush along the back of the housing here. So you have to modify the housing. What I highly recommend is that you plan ahead and have this modification done by us before you receive the housing or ship your housing back to us so that we can do it. However, I know there are a lot of people that can't or don't want to ship their housing back so this video will help you if you want to do it on your own. All you need to really do is take the port off. You'll need a small screwdriver like this guy. There's a button, a little screw in here somewhere. You're going to unscrew that screw, take the metal little L piece out, twist and pull the port off. It's very useful if you have a strap wrench. Once the port's off, you're going to want to tape over it so that no little plastic dust gets inside the housing. And then you're going to remove the button from this housing. If you look closely, you can see there's a little rod in here. You have to get a pair of tweezers or a pick. Pull that, that C-clip off, pull the button out, and then once that's done, you can just basically shave down this guard. You want it to be nice and flat. I use a little Dremel tool. You could do whatever. You might be able to sand it off. Then you're going to replace this button here. Um, I take the spring off the button, put a little bit of like epoxy or other permanent glue that's going to be watertight. There is an o-ring in the button, so that is what seals it from the water, but you're going to want to seal it off as well just as extra protection. Be very careful while you do all of this. If you get any little dust or particles, it can compromise that o-ring. Push the button all the way flat. With no spring, it'll sit fully flat on the housing. Seal it off so it's glued. Let it dry overnight. Put your port back on. Make sure all the o-rings are clean. Go diving and test your housing with no camera so you know that your seal is good and then you're ready to dive and put your fisheye dome port on. If you have any questions, please feel free to call us or email us at sales at bluewaterphotostore.com. Thanks so much.